There's so much polarization in culture right now, causes a lot of trauma on top of all the trauma that's already happened because of the pandemic and the shutdowns, all the trauma that's happened as people are reeling from protests and loss of jobs and trying to figure out school and all these different kinds of things. And so people are afraid and on edge, which makes people not want to have to listen. But at a time like that is when you really need to be able to listen. You really need to be able to understand where somebody else is coming from, why they're saying what they're saying. When the Kranzberg put out the call for 2020 shows, their theme for the year was knowledge. And as I was thinking about knowledge, I was thinking about how one of the big problems with knowledge is just because you know something and I know something doesn't mean we know the same thing, even about the same topic, or even if we had the same experience. There are eight major paintings, plus one smaller painting, that deal with different issues in society that have been really heavy on my heart and that I've done a lot of study and research into. And the focus has been to get past all of what we think we understand about something and to get past all of the political arguments, the ideological arguments, whatever kinds of things get in the way, and to just focus on people. The major paintings are a lot of political things, a lot of societal things, a lot of cultural things. Some of the other pieces that are in the show are portraits of friends of mine. I wanted to take it from this kind of global perspective down to a more personal level to show what it's like when you listen to somebody that's different than you and you create a personal friendship or relationship with that person and the things that you learn from that. As much or as deeply as I know someone, there's always more about them that I don't know. And there's always more to them than what I can maybe see on the surface. One of the things I found throughout the course of working on the show is that a lot of things made me really, really angry. And you can't just let that anger continue to build up and do nothing with it. You have to do something with it. I used the collages as a way to release some of the pressure and to explore all the weird ups and downs and twists and turns that the journey kind of took. I have, up to this point, been primarily just a painter or a drawer. I haven't used a lot of mixed media of any kind, and I wanted to really force myself to think outside the box and get creative. I also found, as I was working on them, that everything is so complex and multi-layered. It needed multi-layered pieces to be able to fully feel like I explained it. A lot of the big paintings in the background, they have articles from newspapers, from the internet, pictures of tweets, stuff from social media, all the periphery stuff that you hear from people when they talk about these different issues. And I wanted all that to kind of recede in the background so it's covered up with things like paint, ink, gold leaf. So you're getting glimpses of the stuff in the background but it's not necessarily what's important. And so then I tried to, on each of the paintings, include some kind of a 3D element that comes out of the painting and into real space because I wanted people to not just see the pictures and think, oh, that's a really nice picture, that's out there. I want it to come out into our space so that it demands your attention and says, I need you to engage with this. This is not just something that's far away, it's something that's really close. There's a piece in the show called See and Hear, Look and Listen, and it's an opportunity for people that view the show to respond to everything that they've seen and to communally engage and to put down what it made them think, what it made them feel, each of the pictures and the paintings in this show was created by asking questions. And so one of the things I would advise viewers to do when they come to the show is to ask questions about each of the paintings, to ask, what is this painting about? What is it trying to get me to understand or get me to consider? And then to take those questions when you leave and keep considering them and keep asking yourself, where can I be a better listener in my own community? Who needs my help? and understanding and what's my responsibility towards people around me, how can I be a better neighbor.